Dorian. Congressman, many people were surprised when you said in the last election that as a citizen you would vote for an increase in the statewide minimum wage in Arkansas. And I'm wondering how you came to that position and what will be your position on a federal increase in the minimum wage? Well, this is one issue where my Democratic opponent and I actually agree that an immediate nationwide increase in the minimum wage to $10 an hour would be bad for Arkansas workers and bad for Arkansas businesses. The Arkansas uh, measure was done at the state level, so it was done closer to the people, and it was a much smaller and more incremental increase that accounted for economic circumstances in our state. But when you legislate a minimum wage in Washington, D.C., with a almost 25 percent jump, the Congressional Budget Office, a nonpartisan research institute in Congress, has said what we all know is that it's going to cost up to a million Americans jobs. What I'd rather see is a healthy, growing economy where you have high demand for everyone's labor, like you see in places such as North Dakota and West Texas because of the oil boom, where new clerks at Walmart or new uh, cooks at McDonald's are getting $15 an hour because of a growing economy, not because of Washington regulations. Senator-elect Tom Cotton, thank you very much. Good to see you.